I'll say the last thing is that I for sure noticed that I have more increased back pain mm. in the second trimester. And mm. it's mostly because, of course, your belly's growing, your belly, my belly's growing. My belly is sh- more shifting forward, just gravity, <laughs> gravity, the way it works, it pulls you forward. And there are times where I know my posture may not be the best because of my belly growing. I have more of an arch in my back. Yeah. And so it's just causing some increased back pain with that. Mm. So it's very important for me to stretch. Obviously, you know that I do a lot of yoga. I do a lot of walking and I make it a priority, which I actually been kind of slacking a little bit this week, but make it a priority to incorporate stretching and movement because yeah. that's really what's going to help with your back. And right. the last thing you want is to have lack of mobility, especially in your back when the baby is taking up so much space. Right. You want to be able to have um, mobility so it's comfortable for you, comfortable for the bra- baby, and you can breathe okay. Um, I know in the third trimester <laughs> it gets really rough, but if we can do anything to gradually go into all of these yeah. trimesters safely, I think that's the best route to go. Nice. I think what I'm happy to see and that I've seen that you have been doing, definitely more so in the second trimester, is being more mindful mm-hmm. of your activity levels yeah. and making sure that you're walking 30 minutes a day at least, mm-hmm. um, usually in the morning time when you walk our dog journey. Mm-hmm. And then you also walk in the afternoon sometimes with yeah. me. So sometimes you do double dosage of it, yeah. which is good. So I had noticed that you're doing a lot more activity with that, with walking and with yoga, mm-hmm. like you mentioned. For me, as the man in, in the relationship. Yeah, what is, changes have you experienced? Yeah, I haven't experienced. I mean, there's no there's no uh, changes for me personally. Um, well, there's one, but I'll let you finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe there is. Maybe there is. But uh, off the top of my head, there's no changes for me personally, but there's been changes I've seen in you. Mm-hmm. Um, and something that you recently, or you, that you talked about just a, just a couple minutes ago, which was your appetite. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the biggest change that I've seen. <laughs> uh huh. First, first trimester. I mean, I, I would literally, ate. I would literally have to to eat on the balcony because mm-hmm. she couldn't take some of the smells oh, of whatever right. I was cooking. So I would have to eat on the balcony or have to eat at work or have to eat somewhere <laughs> outside of the it house. It was not happening in so, the house. Certain <laughs> smells couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and if I did eat in the house, the she was in the bedroom. I had the door closed, and I was like eating in the bathroom or something. Like it was, it was a whole process because any smell would just get yeah get to her. And we're in an so, apartment, so the the space right. is a little bit tighter versus if we were in a in a house. Right, you could go to another bedroom or something, but we don't really have that. You know, with being in an apartment and all the vents connect, so it's like right. the smells just seep through. <laughs> and then. I wouldn't say what is a huge change. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at your mood. Your mm-hmm. mood has been pretty consistent. Yeah. Even first trimester, second trimester, and just who you are naturally. Like right. I haven't seen any crazy mood swings, which I've heard about in pregnancy, like yeah. where people are just like so <laughs> on edge or, or just not in a good mood and just will take out their frustrations yeah. and just yell at you for no reason. Like I haven't seen any of that. Yeah. And your mood has been pretty stable, pr- been pretty chill for yeah. the most part. So I'm sure all the like uh, moms out there are probably like just wait until the third trimester. Right. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But um, I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. at that aspect that your mood has been pretty mild mm-hmm. as far as like the pregnancy swings. Yeah, that just like a talk chill about. temperament. So, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. I feel like I've been pretty steady thus far. Now, there far. is sometimes that you experience headaches and you get a little irritable. Yes. A little bit. Yeah. Um, but I had a headache last I, night. <laughs> I, know, I know when to keep my distance. <laughs> sometimes you just keep your distance. You, you just you gotta put, know. You put your headphones in or you do your own thing. You get on the on your laptop or something because sometimes you just know. Like when, you, when you've when you been together as long as we have. And <laughs> you know how to read the you room. Just, you just sense the energy and you're like, all right. <laughs> It's going to be a night where, you know, we do our own thing. Yeah, I'll give her, I'll give her <laughs> I her give time. her a little space. I give her a little space. And vice Very versa. True. Vice yeah. versa. Very true. Uh-huh. Well, I know that you said that you feel like you haven't experienced any changes or anything like that, but I disagree. Mm, okay. I would say Enlighten that. Enlighten me. Yes. I would say that your food concoctions have gotten <laughs> out of this world and it 
I think that it only has to be attributed to pregnancy because some of the things that you make, I'm like, who are you? (laughs) (laughs) So, for example, he said, you told me that you made a wrap at lunch. And Uh I was like, oh, okay, wrap. What did you eat? And you were like, you don't want to know. And I was like... Oh, Why yeah, don't this, I want to know? This is pretty bad. And I was like, tell me, what did you what did you make? And you said, I had a wrap with tuna. Okay, not bad. Sardines, <laughs> honey, and cranberries. I was like, what? I what plead, in the pregnancy craving are you going through? <laughs> I, ple- I plead the fifth. And I told my sister, she was like, one of my sisters and she said shane is experiencing pregnancy symptoms like men think that they don't go through these stages too uh, along with the woman but that things can change in their lifestyle as well in the same way you know they say pregnant women loves the pickles and ice cream or the this and that like these crazy food concoctions like husbands can experience some of those things as well or fatigue you know so definitely I would say that has been you because some of the things that you have been whipping up these past few weeks, I have truly been shocked. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, that one was. But that one took the cake. That one definitely took the cake. And I will say there has been an increase in just crazy concoctions being yeah. in, in all of its usually healthy items like yeah it's like, all healthy but it's like, just like it doesn't go it together doesn't, it doesn't go together <laughs> i don't know so maybe i am experiencing this uh weird reverse what is it what, what is it does it have a term i don't i don't know if there's a term like if a, you guys know pregnancy? of a term um that where men you know experience certain symptoms or not necessarily it's not necessarily a symptom but it's just a phase as a part of pregnancy. Men's food craving from pregnancy. Pregnancy or something. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, well, anyways, please let us know in the comments. Maybe maybe I am <laughs> suffering from this illness. It's not. A illness. I, I don't know, but uh, I I know that uh, yes. Over the last like two months, I have been trying different things. Yes. I, I've been on some uh, some weird stuff, but like all of it, try to just like pick at things that I can incorporate so that i could eat healthy it's like healthy concoctions weird but, they don't but make it together. healthy <laughs> but they don't go together at but all but hey if you like it that's all that matters yeah i found i thought that it was wild that you ate that but you said it was actually quite good well, thank you so. for putting me on full blast <laughs> well i'm, I'm put on and blast now we have to end the episode the well anyway <laughs> these were just a few of the things that i and we have experienced in the second trimester thus far like Shane said earlier in this episode, please let us know what your experience was like. What were some of the changes that you noticed in your second trimester compared to the first? We love to hear stories. We love connecting with you guys. And with that said, we are going to sign off for today. My name is Jen. I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. Enjoy the journey. Bye. Mm-hmm.